AST 2021, entangled, she was provoked. Ching Shui, that thing was scary, let's go, Yu Zixuan said after a brief thought. Bai Ming Shui said nothing, but she looked uneasy too. It was hard for anyone who encountered a situation like this to keep calm, especially when life was in extremely great danger. Don't you want to see what is lurking down there? Ching Shui asked with a smirk. Ching Shui knew curiosity would kill a cat, but he was eager to find out more about the underwater creature and how strong it was. Still, he knew it was hazardous, I would probably be the most dangerous attempt he had ever made. He was in struggle too. Bai Ming Shui shook her head this time, Ching Shui, don't be impulsive. There are too many scary and powerful things in the main continents, if you aren't able to figure out everything, you might lose your life. Ching Shui nodded. He decided to put off the idea eventually, it was too risky. Just as Ching Shui was about to leave, the previous aura was sensed again. Ching Shui was shocked at once. As he was about to retreat with the women, Bai Ming Shui was struck by the tentacle. There were tiny tentacles on the gigantic, thick tentacle, they could entangle a whole person. Ah! Uh, Bai Ming Shui let out a loud scream, being terrified, her face turned pale. Women feared the tentacle-like object the most. Ching Shui grabbed Bai Ming Shui hastily and released Little Rin. He told Yu Zixuan, leave together with Little Rin. Quickly, I will find you. He ordered Little Rin to head towards the exit and protect Yu Zixuan on the way out of this place. After all, it was too dangerous here. Without Little Rin, it was hard to tell if Yu Zixuan could make it out with only the Ice Burst Demonic Bear. He did not want any accidents. Ching Shui, let me be. Leave quickly. Bai Ming Shui sounded anxious. She knew she was doomed and was frightened, but she felt relieved once she saw Ching Shui was dragged along with her. They were drawn into the freezing cold lake water. Ching Shui didn't dare to release his hand. He said to Bai Ming Shui, don't be afraid, it'll be fine. I'm here. Ching Shui racked his brain for a solution. It seemed that he had to fight against this huge creature. Ching Shui knew that there would probably be a lot of tentacles later, it would be really troublesome by then. This tentacle had a thick trunk, about several meters thick. It was a headache to fend off this spider web like object. Ching Shui used every formation and Buddha ultimate art, also the emperor's chi and the art of pursuing. After a tremendous boost of defense power, Bai Ming Shui suffered less now. Before this, she was almost strangled to death. Dragon Slaying Beast? Ching Shui released the Dragon Slaying Beast and told it to bite this giant tentacle. The Dragon Slaying Beast was terrifying enough. With Ching Shui's assistance, it improved greatly in strength. This huge tentacle was munched and broken instantly. Ching Shui and Bai Ming Shui could get off the tentacle temporarily, the little tentacles that were stuck on their bodies were released too. However, before they could take a breath, the broken tentacle apparently regenerated and attacked them again. Terrifying regeneration power. Ching Shui was amazed. However, he was not as anxious as before. Still, he knew the danger was still there. Ching Shui could only see the tentacle now, he had no idea where its main body was. Hence, he was passive at the moment. Was this ever going to end? Ching Shui and the dragon slaying beast chopped off the tentacle endless times, but it was all in vain. Like a lizard's tail, it grew back in the blink of an eye, just as Ching Shui was dumbfounded, another wave came. Ching Shui was bewildered, this time, several tentacles came. There were more than ten. It was already flustering when there was one. Now, ten additional tentacles were coming, this was going to be endless. Ching Shui did not get to see the appearance of the big creature, but his previous debuffs were definitely effective. Now, these tentacles were no longer as fast and powerful as before. This boosted Ching Shui's confidence. Ching Shui, go, I know you can escape alone, Bai Ming Shui stared at Ching Shui gratefully. Trust me, it will be fine, Ching Shui gripped on Bai Ming Shui's hands tightly, but at this moment, he was not in the mood to feel the warmth and softness. Ching Shui was entangled too, he was stuck there with her. Meanwhile, the dragon slaying beast was also tied up like a dumpling. The spider web like technique was the most effective measure against the dragon slaying beast the technique could trap it to death. After all, it was very tough to kill the dragon slaying beast, one must be really strong to defeat it. Ching Shui gave up struggling for the moment, but he was prepared to attack at any time. Just then, he wanted to figure out the creature below completely. Bai Ming Shui felt guilty that he risked his life for her. Feeling his tight grip on her hand, she had a mixed feeling. 
She stared blankly at this young but apparently mature face. Ching Shui turned around and saw Bai Ming Shui's stare. He said as he smiled, nice to look at. Bai Ming Shui blushed immediately. She never had affectionate contact with a man in all these years. She knew she was a normal woman, but she never met someone she admired. She was extreme in this regard, if she failed to meet someone she liked, she would rather grow old and remain alone than to simply find someone. She neither liked nor hated Ching Shui. Even though Ching Shui risked his life to save her and almost died, she would not fall in love with someone for that. She was moved and grateful, but it was not love. At this moment of life and death, she had some vague thoughts and changes in her attitude. Are we about to die soon? Bai Ming Shui said softly while raising her beautiful eyebrow. Maybe. Ching Shui emphasized several times that they would be fine, but he was really uncertain. Therefore, he would not say that anymore. Bai Ming Shui would not believe it anyway. Do you have a wife? Yes. Do you have kids? Yes. Bai Ming Shui was even more upset now. If he died, what about his women and kids? Would they be in deep sorrow? She was no longer sad for herself now. What about you? Do you have a man? Ching Shui laughed out loud. No. Bai Ming Shui replied shyly. This guy was so rude. Then, have you missed any man? Bai Ming Shui gave Ching Shui a mad stare. If we die, would you regret that you never touched a man? MMH, have you kissed a man? Ching Shui found it interesting to tease a woman who had the temperament of a queen. No, what are you saying? Bai Ming Shui blushed, she was really agitated. She was unsure of her current feelings, she was flustered and did not even know what to think. She even forgot that they were on the verge of death. We're going to die, do you want to try it? The kissing. Ching Shui did not really want to kiss her. He only wanted to tease her after seeing her embarrassed look now. He was determined to survive, he was reluctant to die here. Therefore, he was just teasing her and never thought of kissing this woman. He only wanted to make her relax and it worked well. AST 2022, Nine Continents Mountain, the giant water monster was stuffed. Ching Shui was just saying things on a whim. As that idea flashed through his mind, he smelled something, like a fragrance. Although they were underwater, they could not feel the water barrier anymore with their current strength. Yet, with the water essence, their battle strength would be greatly reduced. It was not as easy to move underwater. Then, Ching Shui felt a sudden softness on his lips. Ching Shui was shocked. Surprisingly, Bai Ming Shui leaned over and kissed his lips on her own. However, she did not know how to kiss, so she only blocked his lips. Ching Shui was absorbed in the impact for a while before he regained awareness. Things were screwed now, he never expected this outcome. Based on Bai Ming Shui's personality, she would not compromise even if she died. Without her love, it was definitely impossible to kiss her. Yet, it happened now. He wanted to evade, but he knew that it would embarrass Bai Ming Shui and might even drive her out of the way. She was a proud woman, she probably struggled for a long time before doing that. Perhaps, it was mainly because the state of life and death. Ching Shui sucked her lip gently and kissed her slowly. Her fresh fragrance triggered Ching Shui's senses. His tongue opened up Bai Ming Shui's tightly closed teeth and clung onto her smooth, sweet tongue, enjoying her tasty saliva. Bai Ming Shui closed her eyes. Her entire body was trembling, her mind was blank, and her heart was thumping rapidly. She was unsure if she liked this feeling perhaps, she was rather confused. As she came back to her senses, she already felt Ching Shui's tongue invading her mouth. She tried to reciprocate and realized that she was not against it. She actually kind of liked this feeling. This made her slightly relieved and diminished her fear of death. Bai Ming Shui nearly lost her breath at some point, only then did she pull away and lower her head. She dared not to look at Ching Shui. We're going to die, this is my reward for you. You didn't have to die with me, Bai Ming Shui blushed. At this moment, she looked extraordinarily stunning. Ching Shui smiled and looked at this beautiful lady, if we happen to avoid dying, isn't it a great loss for you? I'm not losing anything. I don't regret it in that case, it would be a luxury to survive, Bai Ming Shui said with a smile. Snap. They landed at the bottom of the lake. There was not much water here, many things in the surroundings were visible. The previous noise came as the tentacle touched the ground. There were so many tentacles, Ching Shui followed them and looked at the most central position. The place was spacious, it should be the nest of the big guy here. There were a lot of skeletons. Thus, it was quite messy, full of a bloody and rotten smell. Hmm, 
there's a formation here. A trap formation. Ching Shui observed the place and noticed that it was contained. Why would a monstrous creature with tentacles get trapped here? How long had it been here? Was it an underwater creature? Terrestrial? Or a flying demonic beast? Ching Shui was even more curious now. The tentacle retreated. Ching Shui was fully armed. Once he approached the opponent's main body, Ching Shui prepared to attack. Ching Shui spotted the big guy, it looked like a clam monster. Yet, Ching Shui had no idea what it actually was. It was probably an underwater creature. Its main body was not very big, it was around 50 meters large. It had no legs, a pair of dark eyes, countless tentacles, and was elliptical in shape. Besides the eyes, the giant mouth was its most prominent feature. It was about one-third of its body, in exaggeration. The mouth was like a bloody cave entrance, it literally looked like hell. The tentacle was difficult to deal with and Ching Shui could not find any effective way against it. Perhaps, his primordial flames could handle it, but it was hard to tell. However, one thing was certain, the big guy must be a lot stronger than Ching Shui. As they were about to enter the giant mouth, Ching Shui became alert and called out the Nine Continents Mountain. At the very moment before falling into the huge mouth, Ching Shui called out the Nine Continents Mountain. The consciousness was activated, the Nine Continents Mountain entered the mouth of the huge creature. On top of that, Ching Shui enlarged the Nine Continents Mountain instantly. The Nine Continents Mountain could reach a hundred meters easily, while this monster was only fifty meters tall. This trick came to mind as Ching Shui saw the main body of the huge monster, especially when he saw the large mouth. It was also the most effective way. He was sure that he could definitely burst the big guy with the Nine Continents Mountain. Squeak. The sharp roar, plus dark, and cold eyes gave people a chill. The tentacles came attacking insanely, entangling Ching Shui and Biming Shui on a deadly grip. However, Ching Shui waved at this moment. The primordial flames burnt the surroundings rapidly and separated the tentacle from the dragon-slaying beast. The raging dragon-slaying beast munched on the tentacle crazily and broke the tentacle on Ching Shui and Biming Shui. At the same time, Ching Shui flapped his golden battle halberd vigorously. At that moment, the Nine Continents Mountain already expanded the big monster's body. Blood spurted out from its body and it could not bother with Ching Shui anymore. Yet, Ching Shui did not plan to let this big guy go. It was really terrifying, it had to be killed. Snap! Burst! Ching Shui was extremely excited. Although it seemed easy to kill this unknown, enormous demonic beast, Ching Shui knew how hazardous this creature could be. It would be difficult to escape from the creature, if the Nine Continents Mountain was not delivered into its mouth. It would not be effective if the huge monster did not have such a large mouth. Even though the Nine Continents Mountain could change in size, if the opponent was not gluttonous, that trick would never work. Bai Ming Shui took some time to come back to realization. She stared at Ching Shui, we don't have to die anymore. M.M. Ching Shui smiled. Bai Ming Shui had a confused feeling. It was a mixture of surprise and melancholy. She stared at Ching Shui blankly. She kissed this man, and he kissed her back too. Now that they were not going to die, what was next? Let's see if there is anything here. When we get out later, Zixuan would still be up there. Don't let her worry about us, Ching Shui knew her thought, but he could not console her in this matter. Bai Ming Shui's action made Ching Shui perplexed too. Bai Ming Shui nodded. Ching Shui collected the huge demonic beast's origin essence pill, core, heart, and others. This demonic beast owned a lot of good stuff. Therefore, Ching Shui kept them in the realm of Violet Jade Immortal. Next, he looked around and saw a large stone chamber here. There was plenty of stuff, but they were no good for his standard. Ching Shui was slightly disappointed, but it was rewarding enough to kill this big guy. Ching Shui broke the formation of this place. Water flooded the compound immediately and flushed everything away. As Ching Shui and Bai Ming Shui reached the water surface, Yu Zixuan and Little Rin were still standing in a distant place, they did not leave. At once, they rushed over as they saw Ching Shui and Bai Ming Shui. The anxiety on Yu Zixuan's face went away. Still, she asked caringly, How are you? It's alright, the huge water monster is dead. Let's go. Ching Shui was not in the mood to go further after experiencing this water monster. He just wanted to go back. Bai Ming Shui was back to normal and talked to Yu Zixuan. Three of them headed back. AST 2023, Absorb the Origin Essence Pill, The Evolution of Dragon Spider. 
Yuzixuan did not question how they killed it and what kind of creature it was. However, a woman had a strong curiosity, so she planned to ask either of them later. Upon arrival at a safer place, Ching Shui felt slightly relieved. The hazardous pace was exhausting, physically and mentally. This was mainly because of their lack of strength. If they were strong enough, the giant monster would have been killed with a palm move. We should take a rest here today. Let's look around tomorrow and see if we can find something nice, Ching Shui thought and said. Bai Ming Shui escaped and felt happy. Thought Ching Shui took advantage of her. She was pleased to breathe in this fresh air and see this beautiful sunshine. All right. Yu Zixuan said to Ching Shui while holding Bai Ming Shui's hand, let's have a look there. Ching Shui nodded and ordered Little Rin to look after them for safety reasons. The realm of the Violet Jade Immortal? Ching Shui saw the dragon spider lingering around the origin essence pill of the giant monster once he entered the realm of the Violet Jade Immortal. It ran towards Ching Shui as it noticed him. It had the physical form of a nine-headed demonic dragon spider, but it had the voice of a little girl. In Ching Shui's heart, the dragon spider was like his own child. I want to absorb these, the dragon spider conveyed a message to Ching Shui. Ching Shui was startled, he recalled the dragon spider's spider web and the big guy's tentacle. Now that the dragon spider wanted to absorb its origin essence, he wondered if it would obtain the big monster's abilities. Absorb them then, but take it slow. These things have a strong energy, Ching Shui said with a smile. Initially, Ching Shui wanted to refine it for medicine, but he could not maintain the giant monster's origin essence then. This origin essence consisted of the demonic beast's original abilities besides its strength, that was what made it so precious. However, some of the original abilities in the origin essence pill would not be absorbed entirely. It was very unlikely, but still possible. Hence, it depended on one's luck. Besides, there were more than one original ability in the origin essence pill. Thus, it was highly possible to obtain one of them. Dragon Spider understood it, then, it swallowed the origin essence pill happily. Next, it also swallowed the core and the other materials from the giant monster. Ching Shui's heart skipped a beat, it was too late to stop. The giant monster had a terrific strength, and now the dragon spider had swallowed the core and the origin essence. It would gain more than half of the giant monster's strength, even if it did not absorb the total strength. Indeed, some would be lost during the transfer and absorption. Ching Shui looked at the dragon spider anxiously. In a short while, the dragon spider's body was enlarged and its nine heads made continuous shrieking noises. Initially, only the middle one was a dragon head. This was the major head, but two dragon heads appeared in between shortly. They were smaller than the middle one. It was still nine-headed, but there were three dragon heads now. The dragon spider's strength spiked tremendously. Snap! One head was crushed but a new head emerged instantly. Ching Shui was relieved, this was the giant monster's regeneration ability. Ching Shui knew it was all right now. The most terrifying ability of the giant monster was its regeneration. Surprisingly, the dragon spider obtained this regeneration ability. Indeed, the regeneration ability was not endless. For instance, it was applicable once or twice, or even ten times a day. However, there was always a limit for everything, it was impossible to regenerate continuously. It was against nature to regenerate, one regeneration equaled another life. Ching Shui was dumbfounded. Suddenly, a thick spider web appeared around the dragon spider. These spider threads were much thicker than the usual ones. They looked a bit like the giant monster's tentacles. Still, there was one distinct difference. The dragon spider's threads were white while the giant monster's tentacles were black. Thunder gathered in the air, a catastrophe was coming. The dragon spider's strength was improving rapidly. The catastrophe was over very soon and reappeared again shortly. Ching Shui was excited, he was about to own a strong control type demonic beast. The thunderous beast was not going to cut it anymore since there was a huge strength discrepancy. The golden scaled dragon elephant and the dark phoenix were unable to battle for the same reason. Only the dragon slaying beast could come out. However, he had little Rin and the dragon spider now. The dragon spider would probably become a demonic beast as strong as Little Rin this time. Most importantly, it belonged to the control type. Together with the dragon slaying beast, they might overturn the world. More than half a month passed, catastrophe appeared once in a while and the body of the dragon spider changed constantly. Currently, the sparkling golden dragon head in the center of its body appeared larger and more ferocious than ever. 
The huge spider body was like a King Kong, its legs were so sharp that they could penetrate everything. Though the overall size increment was not big, the aura was completely different from before. The surrounding eight little heads were all dragon heads. They were small, but the charisma was terrific. Ching Shui sensed the dragon spider's strength roughly, but he was unsure of its actual state. It was definitely stronger than the ice burst demonic bear. Although it could not obtain all of the giant monster's strength, it already obtained more than half of it. He looked at the dragon spider with the heavenly vision technique. The dragon spider's strength was invisible, but Ching Shui felt it was around 5 billion Dao force, similar to Little Rin. That was a lot greater than the ice burst demonic bear which might achieve this strength by chance. After all, it had the resistance power. Ching Shui looked at the battle skills of the dragon spider. He wanted to see if there were new powerful abilities. He realized the great transformation. The nine-headed demonic dragon spider experienced an evolution, its body structure changed greatly. 2. 5 Qi Origin, the innate skill of the nine-headed demonic dragon spider, a permanent increase of raw strength by 500 times, zero energy consumption. Body regeneration, three times regeneration for any body part daily. Poison web entanglement, the nine-headed demonic dragon spider's inescapable net attack with powerful corrosive poison, adhesiveness, and strong entanglement. Reduced speed of the trapped target. Poison silk tentacle, the nine-headed demonic dragon spider would attack and entangle a target from a distance using a poison silk. The speed is extremely fast, the adhesiveness and toxicity are stronger, and it would reduce more speed of the trapped target than the poison web entanglement. Ultimate Spider Swarm, the unique ability of a demonic beast king, the powerful followers around it would complement its attack. The followers would evolve up to the eight-headed demonic spiders. Special mutated demonic spiders might appear. Ten times increase of all existing abilities, including defense, endurance, and resilience. Spider Silk Skynet, passive skill, zero energy consumption, permanent speed increase by a hundred times, able to form a huge net on its surroundings instantly and reduce the speed of all trapped targets. In the Skynet, the nine-headed demonic dragon spider's speed would increase by ten times. Sharpness, the eight legs of seven-headed demonic spider is extremely sharp with an incredible toxicity and penetration effect. Unyielding shield, the seven-headed demonic spider had a powerful defense. Demonic spider dragon head, passive skill, Increase the hardness and sharpness of seven-headed demonic spider's attack by 200 times, and increase the hardness, adhesiveness, and toxicity of the spider silk. Apart from that, a hundred times increase of attacking power, endurance, and stamina, zero energy consumption, divine spider thread, ten times increase of all of the nine-headed demonic dragon spider's strength, the toxicity, hardness, adhesiveness of spider silk, sharpness, and control. AST 2024, believe it or not, I would strip your clothes off. Ching Shui knew it now, the main ability of the nine-headed demonic dragon spider was to reduce the target's speed, trap it and poison it. However, the nine-headed demonic dragon spider had a scary strength currently. Moreover, it was fast. The nine-headed demonic dragon spider could easily kill the target once it was greatly weakened and unable to move. At its present state, the nine-headed demonic dragon spider had incredible defensive power and sharpness of claws. Besides, the demonic spiders around the nine-headed demonic dragon spider had tremendous changes. They were largely experiencing the breakthrough, previously, they were suppressed by the nine-headed demonic dragon spider. Though the demonic spiders were still eight-headed, a small golden dragon head appeared on each of them. Some of the dragon heads were silver-colored. Ching Shui felt that he owned many demonic beasts by just taming one nine-headed demonic dragon spider. Plus, he did not have to bother about them. Ching Shui asked the dragon spider to show its abilities in the realm of Violet Jade Immortal. He was more satisfied and pleased as he saw its performance. The dragon spider's ability improved substantially. With that fact, his overall strength and output ability were greatly boosted. By owning the dragon spider, Ching Shui could use his multiple skills without worries. The dragon slaying beast could also kill as it liked. If he had the dragon spider in the bottom of the lake, he should be able to fight against the monster. Nevertheless, the dragon spider would never be so powerful if there was no accident at the bottom of the lake. Gains and losses were simultaneous, there were both opportunity and hazard. This time, the reward in exchange for the risk taken was definitely worthy. 
It was the dawn when Qing Shui came out from the realm. Qing Shui came out once halfway at night when the two women were resting. Then, Qing Shui entered the realm of Violet Jade Immortal again. This time, the sun was already rising. Qing Shui took a stroll at the spacious suburban area. The sky was full of stars, silver beams were shining like gems. It was pleasing to the eyes. The sky was very beautiful here at night. Qing Shui would be spellbound if he was not used to it. Qing Shui could not spot the galaxy, the current world was unlike his previous world. On top of that, he had been here for several tens of years. He wondered how was the past life now, he made his home here, and everything about his past life was fading. Qing Shui did not want to return, needless to say, he wasn't sure how to. Even if he could, he was already a totally different person despite having the same environment. He would feel absolutely lonely if he were there. The night breeze was a little chilly, but that only applied to the ordinary men. At the Xientian level, he was already invulnerable to various weather conditions, let alone Qing Shui's current strength. Taiki fist, Qing Shui had nothing to do. He found a distant place to practice his fist so that he would not affect the two resting women. He would persistently practice the Taiki fist daily. It was a fist technique that was physically quenching, foundation stabilizing, and origin qi strengthening. The more Qing Shui practiced it, the more he sensed the magic of this fist technique. The sun was rising up from the east, a thousand golden beams shone at the land and lightened up the surrounding objects. Everything seemed so lively and active now. Qing Shui found the dishes were ready as he came back, the two women were waiting for him. Come, time to eat, Yu Zixuan said with a smile. Bai Ming Shui looked at Qing Shui, her smile was subtle and warm. She wanted to be close friends with Qing Shui like before. Qing Shui thought of his past life, it was nothing to have a kiss. A divorce was not surprising and it was normal to have sex. The main continent was similar to the past life, only the partner was the key. Some women were open like many women in his previous world. However, some other women took their integrities heavier than their own lives like the ancient women from the past. There were fewer women like these in his past life than in the current world. Yu Zixuan noticed something fishy, she took a glance at Qing Shui and then Bai Ming Shui. She said, are you guys hiding anything from me? No, Bai Ming Shui said hastily. Haha, there must be something, did you guys? No, we just, Bai Ming Shui stopped talking. She was a newbie in this matter despite her intelligence. She avoided the topic once she heard Yu Zixuan's words. Yet, she did not know that would further increase Yu Zixuan's suspicion. The previous statement revealed that there was something between her and Qing Shui. What did you do? Yu Zixuan smirked, she was no longer anxious. All right, don't bother about that, let's eat, Qing Shui replied instantly after seeing the awkwardness of Bai Ming Shui. Elder Sister Shui is my good sister, you can't treat me this way even if you are closer to Elder Sister Shui, Yu Zixuan stared at Qing Shui in grief. Qing Shui raised his hand, all right, my fault. Let's eat, okay? Let's eat. Elder Sister Shui, say it. I'm curious, what happened to you guys? Did he touch you over there? Yu Zixuan sounded cunning. She was not loud, but Qing Shui could hear her. Qing Shui nearly spurted out, this woman was a vixen, definitely a vixen. Surprisingly, this serious, alluring, and slightly arrogant woman said something like this. Okay, stop making a silly guess. You only know how to talk nonsense. There is nothing between us, we only hugged each other when we were dragged into the water, Bai Ming Shui glared at Yu Zixuan shyly and said in a calm tone. Only that? Okay, let's eat, Yu Zixuan seemed disappointed, but she knew it was not that simple. Yet, she knew when to stop, otherwise, things would get ugly. After the meal, three of them continued on their journey. This time, they headed back while looking for treasures. The dragon-slaying beast searched ceaselessly. The journey back was different from the previous route but it was directed towards the spiritual land. Herbs and stones were abundant. Unfortunately, Qing Shui had yet to find the ingredients to forge the flying swords. He only lacked about two ingredients and thought he would find it this time. However, the hope was slim now. Ten days later, three of them arrived at the entrance of the spiritual land. As they were approaching, Qing Shui did not call upon his demonic beast. He planned to stay for a few days and leave this place. After all, there were only several days left until the entrance opened. Qing Shui did not see Lei Bao and Wang Zhong, but the men from the Bright Moon Palace were there. They did not expect Qing Shui and the two women to return, 
but they were not too surprised. Brother Ching, how are your gains? Chu Bai smiled, that sounded more like a greeting. It's all right. What about yours? Ching Shui smirked. Ching Shui recalled when these people left. He held no sentiments for them at all, especially for the middle-aged man whose three-headed snake was dead. His eyes were glued to the two women as if he wanted to strip their clothes off. Hey, creepy guy, believe it or not, I will dig your eyeballs out, Yu Zixuan said to the middle-aged man. Haha, what a spicy chick. I like it. I'm Song Zhong, I'm pleased to befriend you, the middle-aged man said happily. Nonsense, get lost. What a stuffy person, I'm afraid I'd die of disgust if I befriend you, Yu Zixuan did not leave him a face at all. Previously, she already wanted to get mad at him by the lake, but accidents happened. Unexpectedly, he was still acting in the same disgusting way. Song Zhong's expression changed, he could disregard the previous threat which sounded more like a tease. Yet, this statement was shameful, it was better to hit a man on anywhere else rather than to shame his pride. Moreover, there were noble persons around, it would be humiliating his entire Song clan even if the one who said it was a proud and beautiful lady. You have a toxic tongue. Believe it or not, I would strip your clothes off in front of everyone here. Song Zhong's eyes were extremely gruesome. AST 2025, triple kill, killed Song Zhong. You have a toxic tongue. Believe it or not, I would strip your clothes off in front of everyone here. Song Zhong's eyes were extremely gruesome. Don't you dare to mention that again, at that moment, Ching Shui said calmly, his eyes glared at Song Zhong. Ha ha ha, young man. What are you pretending to be? Do you really think you are unrivaled here? I'm saying it again, I will strip this lady off, and I will do it here. Before he finished his words, Ching Shui dashed over. Gouging strike? Ching Shui's hands were so fast that it was blurry, he was moving forward in an attacking motion. Song Zhong's response was quick, but he knew he could not block Ching Shui's attack. Thus, in a flash of a cold beam, he stabbed a short sword at Ching Shui's chest. Bang! Song Zhong underestimated Ching Shui's speed and the power of gorging strike, this strike fell on his chest before his attack. Giddiness? Song Zhong felt a blank in his mind, however, Ching Shui kicked his danchen mercilessly at this moment. Next, Ching Shui turned around and hit his elbow on the opponent's temple. Triple kill? Song Zhong's body fell to the ground and stopped breathing at once. Ching Shui did not like this person at all, this person was no good. Ching Shui wanted to stand at a prominent position in the Great Qing City, and this Song Zhong was the best target. Since he had the skill, he decided to try it on Song Zhong first. Hence, Ching Shui killed him mercilessly. Though he knew it would be troublesome later, he did not regret it. Ching Shui was too decisive in killing, his killing technique was too scary. It was a simple killer move. Chu Bai was frightened, he noticed that there was defense cancellation in Ching Shui's moves. He could even strike the inner organs. Most importantly, the target had no space to fight back and seemed to have no defensive power. This was the most terrifying part. Ching Shui's killer move was special and obvious to some smart people. Without the gorging strike, the target could block his attack. After all, the target would not be killed in one move since the target could protect his or her most vital spot anyway. But once the target was hit with the gorging strike, the person could only wait for death. Yu Zixuan did not expect Ching Shui to kill someone, but she had an unspoken feeling. Someone fought for her, there was a man who protected her. She liked this feeling, this vague feeling. Chu Bai looked slightly pale, the men from the Chiao clan and the Zikan clan too. They looked at Ching Shui as if they saw an incredibly scary monster. After all, a man at their level was killed in the blink of an eye. Ching Shui's move was a killing move, this was also his actual battle ability. Ching Shui looked at Chu Bai and the rest, they were standing still. Ching Shui smiled and walked beside the two women, we haven't seen the environment here properly, there's still time. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Okay. The two women left with Ching Shui happily. Chu Bai got terrified as he thought about the incident before. He just rubbed shoulders with the death. The men from the Zikan clan and Xiao clan also drooled over Bai Ming Shui and Yu Zixuan before. If they had followed Song Zhong impulsively, they would have ended up like him. This young man was way too scary, he hid it so well. The entrance to the spiritual land opened. Ching Shui and the two women walked out. After that, Lei Bao and Wang Zhong came back too. They were respectful towards Ching Shui and appreciated him from the bottom of his heart. At this time, 
The spiritual land was surrounded by a big crowd, however, the crowd was smaller than before. It seemed like many men were left in the spiritual land forever. When they walked out, Ching Shui smiled at Bai Ming Shui, are you going back to the northern underworld immortal palace? Bai Ming Shui nodded to Ching Shui, it's already one month, I'm going home to have a look. Elder sister Shui, Ching Shui, and I are in the great Xing city. Come and visit us when you're free. Ching Shui opened an imperial cuisine hall in the great Xing city. I also have a jade fragrant restaurant nearby, it's easy to find, Yu Zixuan smiled. Okay, I will. Ching Shui and Yu Zixuan left and returned to the great Xing city. They said farewell to Lei Bao and the rest since they were familiar people. Their relationships were rather far from being friends, but only Lei Bao and Wang Zhong knew their own thoughts. Yu Zixuan was back at the Jade Fragrant Restaurant. Qing Shui was back to the Imperial Cuisine Hall. The Barbarian Emperor, Lan Lingfeng, Qing Xi, Yin Tong, and others welcomed them. They were indeed happy to see Qing Shui returning safely. Several men made a table full of dishes and all of them enjoyed the feast together. Talking about his rewards, Qing Shui did not hide them. He looked at the Barbarian Emperor, Elder Brother, I have an inheritance which is suitable for you. I'm not sure if you're interested, the inheritance of the Violent Axe Battle God. The Barbarian Emperor was excited, isn't this too precious? Qing Shui smiled, there's no one more suitable than you. Moreover, we are brothers. I would definitely let you choose first unless you don't like it or it's not suitable for you. Precious or not, it doesn't matter. It would be too formal to be courteous with family. Qing Shui gave the Barbarian Emperor the Battle Armor, Battle Axe, and the Jade Chest which was the origin essence of the Violent Axe Battle God Inheritance. He left them to the Barbarian Emperor to absorb and become a Violent Axe Battle God Inheritor. 13. Since you're my student, I'll give you one item. C-I-E-R, there's one for you too. Qing Shui gave them two of the remaining Ice Burst Demonic Bears. The 13th Prince and Qing Xi had adequate strength. They were excited to have the Ice Burst Demonic Bears too. After all, the Demonic Bears were too powerful. By owning such a powerful Demonic Beast, their strength would increase by several folds. Qing Shui gifted the only one left to Yin Tong. Lan Lingfeng had his own suitable Demonic Beast already. Though it was not as strong as the Ice Burst Demonic Bear, it gave twice the result by doing half of the effort when it was coupled with Lan Lingfeng. Yin Tong had no Demonic Beast basically. So, Qing Shui prioritized Yin Tong. It was settled now. The strength of the Imperial Cuisine Hall increased tremendously. At least their position in the Great Qing City was stabilized. Even if Qing Shui were not around, it was fine for Qing Xi to be alone here. An Ice Burst Demonic Bear could guarantee her safety. Besides, Qing Xi's strength was not bad. She had an impressive art of healing now. People needed her more than ever now. Nobody dared to go against Qing Xi anymore. Qing Xi took this master as her closest person in the world. He was the shoulder of both herself and her son. He gave her a new world, she could never repay his favor in this life. The circle of the great Qing city seemed to be changing gradually. It could also be said that the entire northern ice domain was changing. All of these were caused by the presence of the tiny imperial cuisine hall and Qing Shui. The Zikin clan and Qiao clan knew Qing Shui's daunting power, they wouldn't dare to act against him. However, Song Zhong's death might make the Song clan mad and come to him. Would the Zikin clan and Xiao clan spread the news about Qing Shui killing Song Zhong? Qing Shui reckoned that they would anyway, although it would be offending him and inviting troubles for their own clans. At the end of the day, the Song clan knew eventually that Qing Shui killed their man. However, Qing Shui had no idea whether they were the ones who spread the news. AST 2026, Song clan's bottom line, Blood Demon Palace. The Song clan was located in Langhuan City. Moreover, it was the biggest clan in Langhuan City. In addition to that, Song Zhong was a genius in the Song clan and looked up by a lot of people. Now that he was dead, the Song clan was furious. If Song Zhong were killed by the demonic beasts in the spiritual land, they had nothing to rant about. Yet, he was killed by someone before he came out. The head of the Song clan, Song Huaid looked so overwhelmed that his gloominess was about to ooze out. He looked at the men below, Zhong Er was murdered, and the man who killed him was the young guy of the Imperial Cuisine Hall in the Great Qing City. Let's wipe out the Imperial Cuisine Hall, a young man said in rage. He was Song Yi, the brother of Song Zhong. He was in disbelief since he heard the news about his brother's death. 
His Song clan had unknown power besides being the largest clan of the Lang Huan city, the great Xing city, so what? He would never let go of this imperial cuisine hall no matter what. Head, the imperial cuisine hall is too reckless. How dare he kill the man of the Song clan so brazenly? We can't let him go, we have to slice him into pieces. Does he think that Song clan is an easy target? Head, allow me to go and kill him. At once, the meeting hall of the Song clan was as loud as the market. Song Huaid rubbed his head. Song Zhong was his son and the most reliable heir for the head's position in the Song clan. He was Song Huaid's hope. However, now he was gone. It was very depressing for an old man to lose his son. Song Huaid was in deep sorrow, but the warriors had strong self-control and modulation. Many people died in the main continent every day, thus, a warrior must have the realization of death. Nevertheless, he was still very, very upset as he heard the news about Song Zhong's death. Song Huaid held his hand out and made a pressing gesture, signaling the people below to stop the argument. He asked an elderly beside him, Uncle Yao, how would you suggest on our plan against the Imperial Cuisine Hall? The man who was called Uncle Yao was an old man who kept his eyes closed as if he were dozing off. He wore a plain outfit and had an ordinary face. Yet, his face became lively as he opened his eyes. His eyes were firing with vigor, making him look a lot younger. Huaid, are you really going to touch the Imperial Cuisine Hall? The old man frowned. We are losing the Song clan's face if we let the Imperial Cuisine Hall go, Song Huaid replied. Another reason was that as the head of the Song clan, it would be too cowardly to let the Imperial Cuisine Hall go. Furthermore, he might even lose the head position if his mistakes were caught. The Imperial Cuisine Hall was not that easy, I've seen them. It's impossible to destroy them under normal circumstances. They have very abundant and righteous qi. Besides, they seem to be growing stronger. My advice is for you to stay still. Which one is more important, losing your face or your life? The elderly said seriously. The elderly was a heavenly vision master who could observe and predict one's fate. If one had a flourishing fate, he would become stronger and turn every disaster into a fortune. Contrarily, if one had a miserable fate, he would be walking down the path of great misfortune. Song Huaid was silent, the people below too. The elderly stood in a unique position in the Song clan. He might not be the most powerful, but he owned this extraordinary ability to see one's fate. Though it was not absolutely accurate, it was more than 60% close to the fact. With that, the Song clan avoided the hitch and was smooth sailing over these years. The elderly saw Song Huaid's intention, he sighed and continued. Use the token if you insist to fight with the Imperial Cuisine Hall, otherwise, we would never make it. The elderly made it clear enough. Song Huaid was not an impulsive man, he nodded, Huaizi, go to the Blood Demon Palace. Tell them the Song clan needs their help to wipe out the Imperial Cuisine Hall. A slightly aged elderly gave a short reply and left. Song clan saved the Lord of Blood Demon Palace by chance and was rewarded a Blood Demon token. This token could be exchanged with a favor as long as it was reasonable and within their limits. The Blood Demon Palace was a strong and evil force. Even the Song clan tried to stay away from it. It was so powerful that they were not on the same level. The Blood Demon Palace belonged to the actual forces in the world of nine continents. They would basically never appear in the Northern Ice Domain. Song Huaid made up his mind to fight against the Imperial Cuisine Hall. He even used the one and only, previous Blood Demon token. Song Huaid felt relieved with the assistance of the Blood Demon Palace. After all, the current Imperial Cuisine Hall was not a match for them. Qing Shui had no idea that the Song clan was coming after him and that the Song clan discovered the truth behind Song Zhong's death. However, Qing Shui noticed some strange acting men in the Imperial Cuisine Hall lately. For instance, some watched the Imperial Cuisine Hall from far while some others came in and left shortly. He only realized afterward that many of them were from the Song clan. That was also the moment when Qing Shui realized the fact that Song clan already knew about Song Zhong's death. However, since they did not come for revenge straight away, they must be afraid of his strength to some extent. Qing Shui would not initiate the move, as long as the opponent stayed still. One's mistake should not affect his family, Song Zhong was dead and he deserved it. Hence, Qing Shui would not get mad at Song clan for that. A huge clan was sometimes unpredictable, it would be troublesome if several old monsters were hidden there. Qing Shui was not overly worried. Three days passed, 
Ching Shui noticed something fishy as he came out from the realm of Violet Jade Immortal. He sensed that the Imperial Cuisine Hall was trapped. Immediately, Ching Shui used his spiritual sense and saw four persons, each of them was lurking in the four directions of the Imperial Cuisine Hall. Four of them surrounded the Imperial Cuisine Hall and trapped it. Ching Shui pretended to know nothing and watched the stars in the small hut of his yard. He knew that his presence was right in the opponent's sight. Ching Shui made a pot of tea and began to drink alone. You're really good at keeping yourself cool. You still act so calmly when you're about to die, a voice was heard and a figure emerged nearby. Even though it was dark, Ching Shui could see this man very clearly. It was a middle-aged man in a blue dread outfit. His most striking feature was his bloody red-colored hair, even his eyes were blinking with a tinge of red beam. Who are you? Why do you come to the Imperial Cuisine Hall? Ching Shui certainly knew that the opponent was not here for good reasons. You don't have to know much, you'll know when you died, the red shirt guy giggled. I'm afraid that I have to ask the others if you die, Ching Shui continued sipping his tea. The red shirt guy seemed to chuckle after listening to Ching Shui's reply. He had two blood knives in his hands, both were very short. They were similar to daggers but not exactly the same. At that moment, the man gave out a strong, stinky, bloody smell, making people nauseous. Let me send you off first. Don't worry, the people here will come to your company soon after. I heard you have beauties here, the first beauty of Northern Ice Domain is also very close to you, it must be my fortune then, the red shirt guy did not take Xing Shui seriously at all. You're not from the Northern Ice Domain, and you should be from the Blood Demon Palace judging from your outfit. I wonder what is your status in the Blood Demon Palace. Ching Shui sensed the aura of Demon King from the opponent. There was one inheritance in the Blood Demon Palace that was like this, and the only person who had it was the Blood Demon King Inheritor. AST 2027, The World of Nine Continents, Demon Gate, and Divine Palace? The inherited technique of the Blood Demon Palace was very powerful. For example, everyone in the Blood Demon Palace could practice this inherited technique, but only one Blood Demon King could inherit its essence. Only one could awaken the Demon King's blood, the others would never surpass him. The man in the bloody red outfit was not surprised. After all, their attires and hair were too obvious, it was not hard to notice that they were from the Blood Demon Palace. Kid, you know too much said the man. Ching Shui smirked, this reminded him of something funny. One man asked another person, how much was one plus one, the other man replied too. The first guy then said, you knew too much. I have to kill you. All right. Are you on sentry duty, standing here during midnight? Since you refused to reveal your identity, you must be a small potato. I don't want to kill you. Go and bring along the Lord of Blood Demon Palace, Ching Shui waved as if he was swatting the flies. Bastard, you're really inviting trouble, nobody ever dares to talk to me like this, the bloody red outfit man was provoked. Don't have to feel upset. You are a tiny dust to me, it's so easy to kill you. However, killing you won't solve the problem. Thus, I'm lazy to do so. If you really don't know your limits, I don't mind killing you as well." Ching Shui raised his head and locked his fierce eyes on this man. The man sensed that Ching Shui was not simple, but he was already on the verge of erupting and it was hard to hold himself back. In a struggling facial expression, he yelled, What a boast! Come on, kill him! Three men appeared from three other directions, an aged one, a middle-aged one, and a very young-looking man. This time, Four persons rushed towards Ching Shui from four different directions. They were in the same attires, had similar weapons, and even their moves were the same. They were using the spawning kill, also known as the slashing strike or the speed strike. Four of them moved, performing the simplest and most limited technique. When they used it simultaneously, it was like a big net consisted of five elements. Ching Shui's spiritual sense reflected everything clearly into his mind. He could see everything around clearly. Moreover, the opponent became slower while Ching Shui was so fast that he was invisible. Ching Shui advanced in a flash and gave a punch to the man's throat. Burst. Once again, he evaded and kicked on the young man's chest. Tiger tail whip kick. In split seconds, the opponent lost two men. These people were no match for Ching Shui, they would definitely get killed instantly. That was Ching Shui's power, he was able to kill a man with similar strength so effortlessly. Ching Shui moved swiftly like a spark of lightning and killed two men instantly. The remaining two men backed off quickly and looked at Ching Shui like he was a monster. They dazed in disbelief, 
This monster was too incredible to be true. Ching Shui had no ways against the huge underwater monster since it was stronger and had very sticky tentacles. These tentacles had a strong regenerating ability, the resilience was high too, that made it difficult to fight against the monster. However, Ching Shui was able to fight against a human and a normal or even a much stronger demonic beast. Say it, what positions do you hold in the blood demon palace? Ching Shui locked on the two persons using his spiritual sense. I'm an envoy, I'm an elder. Both of them were terrified and dared not to hide a thing. It was a piece of cake for Ching Shui to kill them, their lives were in Ching Shui's hands. Ching Shui knew it now, these two persons were very ordinary in the blood demon palace. An envoy and an elder were similar, they were only the core strength of blood demon palace. There were probably 10,000 people like them in the blood demon palace. Ching Shui looked at them, take them away and tell your lord to come on his own next time. I'm only interested in the blood demon king inheritor. The two persons nodded and quickly took the two dead members away. Ching Shui went back to the pavilion and enjoyed his tea. The others heard the commotion, but Ching Shui asked them to go back and rest. The barbarian emperor, Yin Tong, and Lan Lingfang stayed back and sat beside Ching Shui. Four of them filled up the seats at the pavilion. Ching Shui served some dishes and wine, if you're not sleeping yet, drink some. It is the first time that we are drinking at this hour, it feels good. Ching Shui took out the tiger bone liquor. This wine had a very strong taste and could strengthen the bones, boost sexual drives, and build the kidneys. Yet, it was different from the liquor in his past life, the strong taste was referring to its powerful yin energy. The barbarian emperor was the violent axe battle god inheritor now, his strength greatly improved after the inheritance. He was good enough previously, and now, he achieved the late stage of the seventh layer of divinity. His attacking power should be higher than Ching Shui's prowess of 700 million Dao force now. Ching Shui's strong points were his defensive power and terrific killer moves. With 10% strength, he could bring 30% to 50% damage, this was Ching Shui's daunting ability. They were like brothers, now that the barbarian emperor received the battle god inheritance, they were even closer. The 13th prince was in seclusion now, otherwise, he would probably be here too. Though the 13th prince was Ching Shui's student, he was the great emperor of the great Confucian Empire. Also, he was as close as siblings to Yin Tong and the others. However, the 13th prince was reluctant to compromise in this matter. Ching Shui was his master and he respected Ching Shui's wives. This fact would never change. Ching Shui could not help but let him be. Good wine. A good ambience is required for drinking. Younger brother pour me some wine? It tastes a lot better to drink together with everybody like this, the barbarian emperor smiled. Yes. Oh yeah, Ching Shui. The blood demon palace is very powerful, the barbarian emperor said. In fact, they were not here for drinking purpose, they were here to discuss the blood demon palace. After all, the opponent was very powerful. There might be some hidden daunting forces in a sect like this and things would be complicated then. No worries, the blood demon palace is our nemesis, we would never get along. It's hard to get along with them. Our aim is not to kill them but to stop the demon king inheritor from being taken away by the evil nature. I can wash off the evil nature in their blood with my current art of healing, but that will slow down their progress. Thus, they will not compromise usually, Ching Shui said after thinking. What about us then? Lan Lingfang frowned. Don't think about it, just progress gradually and make our battle god team grow. When it is about time, we will enter the actual world of nine continents and its surroundings. That will make our battle god palace famous. Also, we will stop the formation of the Demon King Inheritor organization. I'm unsure of the presence of any sect which gathers the Demon King Inheritors or Battle God Inheritors in the world of nine continents, it might be the ancient Demon Gate and Divine Palace, there was a beam of hope in Ching Shui's eyes as he said this, that was a kind of yearning. The rest were shining rays of hope and admiration too. The future world would be incredible, but they required greater strengths. They were yearning for the actual world of nine continents too. Every man had firing aspirations and burning ambitions. AST 2028, The Arrival of the Blood Demon King. Ching Shui had zero knowledge of the actual world of nine continents. After all, he was not in that circle, he had no idea of everything there. Ching Shui thought the battle god inheritors and demon king inheritors existed for many years. There could be someone else who received the golden battle god inheritance as well. 
Nobody ever said that there was only one inheritor for every inheritance. For example, in the Demon King inheritance, though it was so tough to awaken the Demon King's blood. Thus, usually, only one person could do it, he was not the only person who could awaken the Demon King's blood. Nevertheless, some battle god inheritors and Demon King inheritors were the one and only. For instance, Qing Shui's golden battle god inheritance was passed down across every generation after the death of the predecessor. Still, many other battle god inheritors were not alone. There were more than one violent axe battle gods, thus, the inheritors were plenty. Demon Gate was a sect founded by the Demon King in the ancient days. The core strength was the Demon King such as the Night Demon King, Titan Ox Demon King, Silver-Haired Demon King, and so on. These organizations made up the Demon Gate, an incredibly strong sect. The Demon Gate emphasized on military force, they acted according to their own brutal preferences. They were violent, cold-blooded, and more inclined to the rules of demonic beasts, where the stronger ones led the crowd. Besides, once the evil nature exploded, they could do everything and anything, including a massacre. There was once a bloodthirsty demon king who would massacre an entire city whenever his evil nature exploded. There were countless people killed even though the city was not totally wiped out. Divine Palace, it was an opposing force against the demon gate. They were built to stop the demon gate by a group of righteous and greatly blessed people. However, the battle gods had slower training progress in comparison to the demon kings. There were pros and cons, the battle gods progressed gradually but very steadily, the demon gate progressed rapidly but they were unstable. They could easily lose their own temperament and controlled by the evil nature. The demon gate would not feel manipulated by the evil nature since they were the ones who led themselves on the path of transformations. They regarded the evil nature as their original temperament instead of violating their own wills. They found their true selves in it. There should be demon gate and divine palace in the world of nine continents. Qing Shui was uncertain of the time when he would meet them, but his battle god palace must be built until then. Quality over quantity, with adequate strength, even several men would be sufficient. The next day, the men of the blood demon palace were not here. Qing Shui knew they would come again. This time, if the lord of blood demon palace did not show up, Qing Shui would make anyone who came here stay forever. He did not mind to visit the Demon King Palace by then. Yuan Su was not around. Therefore, he could not recover the alchemy recipe of the Tribulation Evasion Pill. However, Qing Shui could look for the three medicinal herbs first. The herbs were the most essential part and also the hardest part to look for anyway. The training of the youngsters continued with increased intensity. Qing Shui was determined to build a team of assassins. By that time, they would become his force. He figured out a name for them. The Dark Knight, the assassins who walked through the Dark Knights. Qing Shui had yet to decide if the Dark Knight belonged to the Battle God Palace. He might appear in the Divine Palace of the Nine Continents world in the future and might even join them. As for the Dark Knight, Qing Shui wanted to make them his own unique force. If he joined the Divine Palace of Nine Continents world, the Dark Knight would not be grouped under the Divine Palace. He planned to leave some power for himself. Qing Shui liked bustling places and was unwilling to be inferior. Yet, he was not extremely eager in a power struggle, he never thought of merging the main continents under his banner. A man who had no ambitions was not a good man. Qing Shui had a soft temperament, he enjoyed to be free and disliked troubles. Yet, things happened sometimes and it was out of control. Many things did not happen the way he wanted. On the fifth day, a man came. His age was unidentified, his aura was ambiguous. Wearing a purple robe, his eyes were bright and bold, giving out an unspoken sense. This was a powerful man. Qing Shui's spiritual sense was activated shortly after seeing him and felt the Demon King's blood within this man. He was the Blood Demon King inheritor. Qing Shui would never expect the man before him to be the Blood Demon King if it was not for his powerful spiritual sense. It was really quite surprising. Hello. The opponent greeted Qing Shui passionately. Hello, Blood Demon King. Qing Shui greeted him with a smile. You can see my identity, I have underestimated you, the man was obviously surprised. There was only one magical old monk who could see his identity, no one else had ever done that. He practiced the blood demon 9 to the 8th layer. Not only his appearance was different from those who practiced the blood demon technique, the traces of the demon king were invisible from his body too. The only prominent thing was his demon king's blood. However, his demon king's blood was hidden in the deepest corner of his heart, 
Even a skilled person could not see through his real identity. You should have seen through my identity as well, how about us chatting over there? Ching Shui pointed at the backyard. All right. This man was not very handsome but he had his own charm. He was the type who looked better the more you looked at him. He was mature, reserved, cultivated, and had a good physique. He had an unspoken charm in every single move and was naturally attractive. Tell me, why did the Blood Demon Palace pick a fight with me? Don't tell me it is because of the grudges between the Battle God and Demon King. You shouldn't have known my identity before meeting me, Ching Shui said with a smile. Initially, I can't answer this, but it is fine to reply you. The Song Clan used to help me, this time, I'm repaying the favor. Yet, it seems a little tricky this time, the man replied with a smile. As expected, it is the Song Clan, Ching Shui nodded. He knew the man was not lying. Except for the Song Clan, Ching Shui could not think of other forces. It was not the Lang Clan, they would have acted earlier if they had the power. At the spiritual land, the Lang Clan and Sheng Clan did not move. The one who was killed along with Lei Bao was from the Sheng Clan. The Lang Clan and Song Clan were close with each other. The head of the Lang clan even gave up the opportunity to enter the spiritual land for Song Zhong. If Song Zhong knew he would be killed by Qing Shui eventually, he would never enter the spiritual land. One could give his position away after gaining it. At that time, many people were confused about this decision. Qing Shui did not get it after killing Song Zhong as well. Could it be Song Zhong want to go against himself? Qing Shui shook his head, he did not care about the Song clan anymore. The Blood Demon King inheritor from the Blood Demon Palace in front of him was the biggest issue right now. After all, regardless of the stands, they were enemies. I'm curious about the Nine Continents world, can you tell me about it? Ching Shui smiled. It is hard to tell when you're not in it. Wait until you enter the Nine Continents world and the Circle, then you will understand everything, the Blood Demon King seemed reluctant to tell him. Chapter 2029, Battle Against Blood Demon King Taiki combined with continuous combo. Ching Shui chatted with the Blood Demon King calmly now. Initially, Ching Shui reckoned the opponent was someone with a strong evil nature. Now, he felt the opponent was wise and this was really surprising. Apparently, even the demon would have a new form in a certain realm. Let's talk about our issue then, Ching Shui smiled. All right, actually, after meeting you, I don't want to be your enemy, but apparently, we can't be friends. The Blood Demon King said something that he never expected to. Ching Shui was surprised too. I'm keen to know about something. You are the most gifted Demon King inheritor I've ever seen and also the most capable one. Up till now, do you have any worries about this Demon King's blood? For example, don't you worry about the changes in your temperament and others? Ching Shui asked curiously. In fact, this is not the problem. The Demon King inheritor and those who practice demon technique would lose their own identities. It is not about the technique, it is about the person. The factors you said were true since the biggest feature of the demon technique is the instant success and its unstable foundation. It is definitely easy to mess up. Yet, many people who practice the demon technique can evade the undesired elements. Hence, to some extent, the demon technique is much better than other techniques, the Blood Demon King was not stingy, he said in a serious tone. Ching Shui pondered, the man was right. Ching Shui could see that this man was extremely calm and amazing, his words were wise too. That's right, I have been too narrow-minded previously, Ching Shui nodded. However, the blood demon king smirked, not really, not even one out of ten persons could do what I've said previously. Most of them will mess up as you said. Even those who are calm, have a high tendency to experience temperament changes. Still, there are some means to control the urges such as practicing the meditation techniques. Ching Shui did not expect the man to be calm like this. He began to admire this person even more. Thanks for telling me this, let's talk about how to solve the problem today. It has to be done anyway. How about this, you haven't been to the true Nine Continents world and I'm only a small existence in the Nine Continents world. We don't have to go against each other. We can't be friends, but let's not be enemies for now. Let's just do a friendly match today, what do you think? The Blood Demon King proposed after a brief thought. Ching Shui nodded, exactly what I'm thinking. In fact, we might be friends in the future. I'm a doctor and I can control the Demon King's blood. Frankly, I have a wife who is a Demon King inheritor. I can wash off the evil nature in the Demon King's blood, but the advantage of rapid improvement will be lost. In that case, 
I know many Demon King inheritors are reluctant to lose this ability. Oh, that is surprising. Perhaps that is not the case. Some of the Demon King inheritors can't wait to lose this trait. With a rapid progress, one has to face with the tribulation. They know that they can't make it through the tribulation, so, they would rather stop their progress completely, the Blood Demon King smiled. Ching Shui thought of this situation before, but this was a special condition. He knew that the Blood Demon King was right. Not only the Demon King inheritors, but also the other warriors as well. For example, some false god warriors and divine warriors wanted to stop improving, when they felt that they were unable to survive the next tribulation. The more one was afraid of breakthrough, the more he would achieve it. Even without training, certain realization and appreciation in life enabled them to break through their current realms and led them to tribulations. They would vanish like ashes if they were unable to survive the tribulations. One day, I might need your help to control the demon king's blood, the blood demon king said something that confused Ching Shui. I will, if there's such a day, Ching Shui smiled. Let's begin then. Ching Shui nodded and soared into the sky. The blood demon king went up the sky too. Both of them stared at each other, nodded, and started. Ching Shui used Taiki. A soft halo surrounded him, giving out a majestic and natural aura. It was comforting like some sort of charisma with the sense of heaven and earth. The blood demon king was full of vital energy which was incredibly strong. Both of them came into contact almost instantly. Ching Shui knew he did not seem to be a match for the blood demon king, he would be thrown away if he was to fight forcefully. Though his defense was powerful, he could only ensure that he was free from harm but not protected against the attack. Hence, Ching Shui used Taiki. The transformation force ability of Taiki was terrifying. Besides, there was an ability to deflect an enemy's strike using a weaker force. It was applicable with the adequate realm, regardless of the strength. Ching Shui cancelled off the opponent's strength continuously. He combined some of the continuous combo into this Taiki and made it even more profound. Taiki won over the powerful strikes with its gentle skills. Adding the tyrannic continuous combo into Taiki changed its nature tremendously. Unlike the passive Taiki, it was equally valuable for offense and defense. Soon after, the Blood Demon King was stunned. This man could only block the attacks in the beginning, then, he initiated attacks occasionally. Now, he was completely in attacking mode and did not retreat anymore. Each time, he was able to cancel off the Blood Demon King's attack magically. To the Blood Demon King's fear, the opponent's moves were lack of energy and able to void his attacks physiologically. Moreover, the subsequent combo moves made the Blood Demon King fight in an extremely passive position. He had never seen any attack like this. His powerful killer moves were acting like decorations since he had no chance to use them. Even when he did, he could not hit the target. Ching Shui got the hang of it soon, it was like his natural ability. This continuous combo was like a harmonious sexual activity, making one unwilling to stop before reaching the end. Essentially, this feeling was extraordinarily great. This kind of battle was an enjoyment, it was very satisfying. After some time, Ching Shui was growing more proficient in his skill. He did not intend to kill, neither did the opponent. Ching Shui could feel it. He realized he gained a very rewarding experience from this battle. Both of them stopped with a mutual understanding, Mr. Ching, I salute you. You are not only a great doctor, you are a strong warrior too. To be honest, I am seldom impressed, but Mr. Ching will be one of those who impressed me in the future. You're being too nice, I'm not that great. Let bygone be bygone, we will meet when Mr. Ching goes to the Nine Continents world later. Perhaps, we can be good friends there. It is not as simple as you think there, you might change your previous views at that time, the Blood Demon King smiled and said farewell to him. Ching Shui sent the Blood Demon King off. After this, there should be no one else who came for trouble. He knew the incident would be heard by the others soon. As someone who survived the battle against the Blood Demon King, Nobody in the Northern Ice Domain would try to mess with him anymore. AST 2030, Dark Knight, Entering the True Nine Continents World Ching Shui hadn't expected for this matter to pass by so smoothly. At the same time, some of his impressions of the Demon King inheritors had changed a bit. However, he still wouldn't believe that Demon King inheritors were good people. They could not differentiate between good or bad. The Blood Demon King had claimed that less than 10% of the Demon Kings could control themselves. The percentage could even be lower. Even if they could control themselves, it wouldn't be absolute, 
but was just something relative. It was due to those who could control themselves were not comparable to other cultivators. The stances that battle gods and demon kings had wouldn't change. The general trends wouldn't change either. This was a kind of development, just like how good and evil would always be on opposing sides since ancient times. The days that followed could be said to be calm as water. However, the Imperial Cuisine Hall's development had made Ching Shui very happy. It was advancing at a fast pace. The Imperial Cuisine Hall's reputation was also spreading incessantly. Over half a year, after the Blood Demon King had left, Ching Shui basically didn't interfere with the Imperial Cuisine Hall's matters anymore. Ching Xi could already work independently. Ching Shui would only come into the picture if the issues were more complicated than usual. Other than Ching Xi, there were also some other physicians in the Imperial Cuisine Hall. Ching Xi would essentially not spend much time providing treatment unless they were cases that the other physicians couldn't handle. Right now, Ching Xi used whatever time she had to cultivate. The other physicians were also not ordinary physicians. They were quite skilled physicians to begin with, and in addition to having been trained by Ching Shui for a period of time, they would be able to cure most ordinary illnesses. Ching Shui's Imperial Cuisine Hall wasn't open to just anyone. They had their own regulations and Ching Shui had also set the rules previously on whom they wouldn't attend to. There was also the clause which stated that they wouldn't treat someone they didn't take a liking to. Building connections was dependent on great influences and treating certain special people. Treating ordinary people, on the other hand, was a way to receive trust. The power of ordinary people could be unexpectedly useful at times. For example, they could help transmit news. The Imperial Cuisine Hall's reputation, as well as Ching Shui's reputation as a miraculous physician, were all thanks to these normal people spreading the news. Even if ordinary people were to get diseases that were hard to treat, Ching Shui would not hesitate in helping them out. Over the years, Ching Shui didn't think that the poor should be looked down upon. He strongly believed that physicians should be kind-hearted and treat everyone equally. When he saw those families that were about to be broken up, children who had lost their parents, or parents who had lost their children, Ching Shui would feel very happy, knowing that he was able to treat them. Although there were no returns, he would receive mental gratification. He would really feel very satisfied. Saving people from dire circumstances would also bring him joy. Over the past half a year, the kids from Dark Knight were also improving at a tremendous rate. Ching Shui had invested a lot in them, including medicinal pills. The results were apparent. This group was given only two directions in their training speed and power. As for techniques, it would be the solitary rapid fist. However, they would spend two hours daily to practice their dagger skills, which Ching Shui had created from a variety of martial techniques. The purpose of this set of technique was to eliminate the enemies, with one move connected to another. Each move was a killing move and together, they were a lot like using continuous combos. These moves were extracted from the solitary rapid fist, taiki, a cup ointment clearing hands, basic sword techniques, and other techniques. Right now, they were only learning one dagger move throat lock. This was all they were focusing on, using it consecutively. More than 10 members had joined Ching Shui's Dark Knight over the past half a year. They were all youngsters with good potential talents. However, they were in a clean state without any background. Most of them were orphans. It wasn't easy to train a group of people. Ching Shui had all the conditions met but he knew that these people wouldn't be of any use unless at least five years had passed. Still, Ching Shui was in no hurry for now and planned to start the preparation earlier. One of the things he was working on was Dark Knight. The other was the Battle God Palace. Within half a year, things were moving steadily in the right path Ching Shui had envisioned. They might be able to fight alongside him very soon. However, before this, he would need to create a new world. He was going to test things out in the true Nine Continents world. The Nine Continents were just a buffer spot. Ching Shui stood in the space of the Five Elements Divine Flags and looked at the map of the Nine Continents. Previously, he had only used a single spot, which was the Daizang City. Therefore, Ching Shui decided to set one more location. This time around, the location should really be in the true Nine Continents world. Ching Shui's current spot was a little too far from the destination. Otherwise, he would have gone over directly using the Nine Continents steps. Ching Shui didn't use the Five Elements Divine Flags to head there directly. After all, the matters at the Imperial Cuisine Hall here hadn't been settled fully yet. 
Ching Shui had already been in this northern ice domain for about a year. Thirteen had been running to and fro between the Great Confucian Empire and the Northern Ice Domain while the others had stayed in the Imperial Cuisine Hall. Ching Shui had informed the people from the Imperial Cuisine Hall about this before and everyone knew that this day would eventually come. They could not bear to see him go, but they were all cultivators and knew what must be done. Therefore, they simply told Ching Shui to be careful. They would work hard on their own cultivations and when the time came, they would go and look for him themselves. Yu Zixuan also knew that Ching Shui was heading off. Since she was going to leave as well, she also bade goodbye to the people from the Imperial Cuisine Hall. Ching Shui had initially planned on saying goodbye with Bai Ming Shui, but decided to let it be. His feelings for Bai Ming Shui wasn't love yet. It was just that there had been a little accident between them. A beautiful one. Ching Shui thought that after he left, the other party would be likely to forget about him very soon. Ching Shui, my people have all gone back and are already over there. When are we going to set off? Should we tell Sister Shui? Yu Zixuan reported to Ching Shui. Forget it. I've left a letter behind. When Bai Ming Shui comes, she'll know. Let's go. Back then, Ching Shui had also shown Yu Zixuan and asked her about it. The place that they were headed to was the area which Ching Shui had indicated Azure Rainbow City. Ching Shui brought Yu Zixuan along and disappeared from the Great Xing City. Azure Rainbow City. They didn't know how far they were from the Great Xing City. They only knew that Yu Zixuan would have to take very long to travel between the two places, therefore Qing Shui wouldn't be constantly traveling between the two places. The Qing clan also found out something about Yu Zixuan's situation. She wasn't alone. Her family was here, the Yu clan. The Yu clan was a great clan in the Azure Rainbow City and Yu Zixuan came from such clan. She was a treasured princess of the Yu clan. This was why Ching Shui had decided to come to the Azure Rainbow City. This place was considered to be in the true Nine Continents world. The Yu clan would be likely to tell him about some of the regulations here. Even if no one were to tell him, he would find out eventually. Ching Shui and Yu Zixuan were fundamentally on working terms and had set up a basic influence here, looking for opportunities. In the past, Ching Shui had also worked on developing his influence. It was an important foundation. The true Nine Continents world was the final stage. Ching Shui was going to slowly expand his influence here. Looking at the prosperous scene in the surroundings, the Azure Rainbow City didn't seem that different from the Great Xing City. However, this place seemed to be more cheerful, bustling with prosperity. Yu Zixuan and Ching Shui walked along the streets as she showed him around. This is Azure Rainbow City's Azure Sun Road. Although it isn't the most prosperous road in the Azure Rainbow City, it isn't that far off. Look at the trade association over there. There are no fewer than 10 of those in the Azure Rainbow City. All of them belong to the Huo clan. Yu Zixuan continued to introduce the place to Ching Shui. Ching Shui had just come here and wasn't familiar with everything here. Despite that, he was feeling very much at ease. It was very difficult to be starting from scratch, but it was also a very exciting thing to do.